what is going on? It's your boy Wonder Brother, and we are back with some more FR Legends. This is episode 21. Let's dive into it, and we have some pretty freaking huge updates. It's been a long while since I made an episode of FR Legends, and there's well, it's a lot, but it's not a lot. We're gonna start things off in the garage. First things first. If you remember the last time that you seen the ARC 7FD, it didn't have 715 horsepower. I believe it has 663 or somewhere around there. That is because we went ahead and did all stage five upgrades, transmission, ECU, turbo, everything. Also, if you look on the top left, the money, the money is absolutely insane. I have been just playing this and playing this in my free time and I've stacked up some good money almost 140k to be exact it's nice stuff it's really nice no changes to the NA Miata but definitely some changes to the e, uh, A30 M3 we have almost fully upgraded the engine of course and the turbo has been fully upgraded. Only reason why I haven't done anything with the engine, I just don't have the gold for it. I don't plan on getting the gold for it because that's 140 gold that I got to try to obtain uh, through making purchases or watching videos and I just don't have the time for it. But the biggest updates that we will be doing to this M3, we're going to literally pick up where we left off with this M3, is focusing on the rear section. Of course, we got to focus on what kind of rear end we're going to get, what kind of tailpipes we're going to get, even the wing. Currently, we have this little ducktail spoiler, and this little ducktail spoiler is nice. It looks kind of odd without, you know, the rear bumper, but it looks nice. It looks all right looks clean we also got to figure out some wheels for this thing uh, and I of course do what I did before and make a poll just so that way y'all can have your decision but the wheels I think the wheels I'll make the decision myself once we figure out the paint option when we get that far but that's when we get that far uh, no changes to the R32 skyline Except for the fact that, uh, except for the fact that I kept the original RB25, I'm sorry, 26, one to two. It's crazy how I have this engine. Oh, that's because this one maxed out. Got it. Makes sense. That actually makes sense. I'm, I am curious though, if I go over to this one, because I do have the 2J engine with this one instead of the original BP motor. If I built the BP motor from the ground up, how much power would I get out of it? It is quite an interesting conundrum though. Especially with the amount of RPM that you can get from it. You know what? Let's let's figure this out, shall we? Oh, so so no extra money for selling the turbo kit. So let's get an original engine just for the giggles. We're not gonna sell the two we're not gonna sell the 2J. We're just gonna build this uh, BP engine from the ground up. And of course add the turbo kit to it. It looks so different with the turbo kit. But it looks nicer, it looks cleaner, it looks ready for action. I'm here for it. So we got a ton of money that we have and a ton of money that we can spend. So let's go ahead and have at it, crack into it, just to see what can we do with this thing. 
So obviously we gotta upgrade all the internals. Since I got all this money, we're just gonna go straight for the jugular with this thing. Cause the money, the money ain't the issue. I can make the money back over time. So, fully maxed out engine with the basic turbo, 411 horsepower, not bad. Turbo kit. Oh, will I have enough money for all this? I won't. Dang, I went through almost $140,000 like that? That's crazy. All right, so here's the dealio. We'll just do these two upgrades. So I got to do, uh, upgrade the intercooler and air filter. Sitting at 487 horsepower, which is actually not bad. And I kind of want to test out this engine just to hear what it sounds like. Tiny little four cylinder. This is a lot of engine space. Uh, a lot of space inside the engine compartment with this little f uh, f uh, four banger versus the two, uh, 2J with the two extra cylinders, it takes up much more room. Much more room inside that engine bay. And I see why some people in real life will V8 swap a Miata because it has all that room inside this tiny little car for a V8. So let's go ahead and play around a little bit with the NA Miata, but before we do that, I gotta change one little thing. Got some old tires I had to get rid of. And go ahead and buy another set. So we'll still be fresh. Fantastic. All right, so hopping into the NA Miata, and let's go ahead and just start from all the way down on the end here. I'm going to switch to the Pro Class, given the amount of horsepower that I have currently in the Miata. I don't have the 624 horsepower with the 2J. I have only 47 with the BP. That means we have to go down a level, but it's totally fine. Meaning that's going to handle quite differently, too. Because of the lower amount of power, that means a little bit less angle needed just to keep it balanced oh but that's a lot of throttle that was actually really solid run Alright, keep it, keep at it, keep at it. Oh, I went off track a little bit. Keep the line, keep the line. Oh, thank you, beauty. That was a phenomenal run despite the six points that I lost going off track, but that's totally fine. We absolutely smashed it out the park. And best part about it, no damage. All right, let's head to the other layout at NKC. Gonna stress some tires today. Ah, too much angle. And now I gotta remember I'm not in the top class, so that means less power means less, you know, a little bit less aggression. Means I gotta be a little bit less aggressive. Be 
No! Ah, straightened out. Right, let's try this again. There we go. Got all the clipping points that time. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that's phenomenal. Oh, that was flawless. That was a beautiful lead run. Already at his door. Already at his door. Knock, knock. Ooh. Man, I touched that car a lot of times and didn't get penalized for it. A bit of a shock, but all right. Mm, Four dollars worth of damage. I'm not worried about it. All right, this one might be a tough one. Just hold it. Flick. Oh, beautiful flick, but very wide. Wasn't a perfect run, but a really solid run. Had a couple moments that could have been better, but stick with it. It was quite a solid run. All right, maintain. Oh, it's gonna shallow up pretty deep. Oh, beautiful. The transition was solid. I didn't think I'd make that transition. Oh, I'm deep in the smoke too. Not necessarily the best thing, but it's not quite all right. And I kept my proximity in check. Very nice. Right, let's go ahead and hit the replay booth on this one because this one is super solid. And then the angle right here. Both front tires lifted off the ground. And kept it going. I went super wide here. I should have tapped the brakes on, but it's totally fine. Got them at arm's length throughout the entire run. Had to really be shallow here until we got to this section. And then flick it across the line. That was solid. That was super solid. Oh, that was very solid. Look at the proximity right there. And this one I had to keep super shallow. Try to bounce that throttle. But the timing on that transition was beautiful. And how I didn't make contact here is beyond me. Like the camera angle doesn't do it any justice, but I was so close to that car, I could tell. Also not sure what type of tire that they was running, but they didn't have a lot of tire smoke. But again, super solid run. Now over to the intermediate course. Let 
Yeah, not perfect, but that was super solid. to back out of it because I was a little too close to the door. Ooh, that was very close. Dang, some super solid runs on both ends. And that's an extremely high score that I got. All right, moving on to the next track. One of my favorites, Hiroshima and the Slope of Doom. Let's go. Deep angle, deep angle. One, two, three. Whoa. That was lovely. All right, super deep angle here. A little tap of the brake just to keep it under control. Flick, flick. Oh man, that was actually solid. It wasn't perfect, but it was super solid. Ooh. Almost. Avoid the contact. And now I'm coughing the smoke. That's why I contacted the second time. I was very aggressive in the chase run. Let's go ahead and run this one through. Because that lead run was phenomenal. That chase run was kind of sloppy, but this lead run. And then just the angle of attack heading in. Super wide. Almost had him caught up. What a run, what a lead run. That lead run was phenomenal. Which also goes to show you don't have to have a crazy high horsepower drift car in order to drift and drift phenomenally. Like right here, I almost messed it up. If I hadn't timed the braking just right, I would have hit that inner wall. I did tap the lead car, which, you know, happens, but. I managed to avoid contact. I also made contact right there. You'll see a little tap right there. And then went kind of wide there, but shallowed it up. It was very nice. Under $10, yeah, I'll spend it. Alright, while we're at it, let's go ahead and do that and that. Lovely. Alright, now to Kansai. Kansai is one of my weaker tracks, but I'm still going to try to throw it down here. I gotta try to throw down here. Oh, just missed that in the clipping point. That's a a okay. I could have did better getting closer to that wall, but it's quite all right. We'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. That's how you tap. That's how you wall tap. That was very nice. That's going in the highlights.
still a solid run. And that's the proof that I tapped it right there. Proof that I tapped that wall. And solid proof. All right, over to, wait a minute, how much horsepower do I have now? I could. Let's bump up to the next class. And then we'll head over to Drift Park. Just to test myself here. Might get annihilated, I might not, but we'll give it a shot. Three, two, one, send it. Oh, that's beautiful. Transition is very nice. I'm managing to hold it very well. That was smooth. That was very smooth. His lead run was on point. I respect it. Uh, on to my most experienced track, the C route on the drift park. Deep angle, deep angle, shallow up. Titan. Nice flick. Very nice around that cone. Speed, 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 flick. Oh, nice. All right now, time for the chase run. The proximity was beautiful. This is like pro drift status right here. Oh my goodness, I gotta see the I gotta see the replay on that one. The lead one was phenomenal, but that chase run, that chase run was a thing of art. That, that, that was just artistic. Flicked it around this cone. It looked like I licked the cone because the front end has a tongue on it, but licked the stamp and sent it could have got closer here but I'll take it but this chase run this chase run is just something special even though I didn't get the mimic I still basically identical identical time Backed off the throttle zone, caught it, let it, let it ride, let it ride. Oh, that camera angle was not doing it justice, so. That camera angle was not doing it justice, not at all. Huh, that's cool. Let's, let's find a better camera angle here.
Yeah, that's the camera angle. That's the camera shot. That's, whoa. That's the money shot right there. And then into the cockpit. That was, that was that was gorgeous. That was amazing. Forty-four percent, not bad. All right, on to Route D of the Drift Park. Another one of my weaker tracks, but we're here. We're gonna give it a few shots. Oh, I barely missed that outer clip. I didn't think I'd miss the outer clip. The tap of the brake, really it in, catch it, flick it, very nice, oh, very nice. I know I'm going to miss some of these, but that's totally fine. I'm not chasing perfection, I'm just chasing a good run here. And that, that was a good run. It wasn't beautiful, it wasn't perfect, but it was solid, it was very solid. The chase is where I might have some difficulty. I had to back off quite a bit. Oh, he tapped the wall hard. I'm surprised he didn't catch a fail for that one. Oh, very much had to shallow up there. Oh, oh, right on his door. There we go. I'm deep in the smoke. I, if I was at, in first person, I wouldn't be able to see nothing. But this, this is where, this is where I'm going to shine here, right here. Right here, yes. I have aced. I have absolutely destroyed people in these chase runs. We won't replay that one, but, but that one was just chef's kiss. Irwindale Speedway. Now this one might be a tough one for this car given the amount of power that it has doesn't have a whole lot of power so I can just power out of, on people but I'm surprisingly giving it the business now yikes oh how how did I stay off of that for the most part did tap wall a little bit but I'll take it it wasn't bad it wasn't bad All right, chase run, here we go. Oh, very close, very close. Now he's pulling out on me. Let's, let's reel him back in. Let's fish him back in now. Oh, okay, I'm very shallow, I'm very shallow, I'm very shallow. Oh, how did I keep it off the wall there? I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing this, but I'm doing the business. and still beat them by one point in the chase. That chase run was sloppy by my standards, but it was good enough. Over to the motor section, let's go ahead. Actually, no, let's, let's go ahead and run the final course and then we'll do the Gymkhana course. So let's head to Ebisu circuit, my favorite circuit. In game, oh, I'm kind of wide here. Send it. Oh, very shallow, very shallow, very shallow. Very deep, then shallow up. Oh, very nice. I missed one of the clips, but that's fine. I have leader and left some to be desired, but I'll take it. It still was good enough to to handle the business, basically. Whoa, here we go. Brakes, oh. Little tap, that's fine. A little buff out. I 
right, we gotta see the camera angle on this one. Getting very wide there to start off, but it's totally fine. And then full send. That's a jump drift. We're very close to that inner wall. He was much closer to that inner wall than I was. It wouldn't surprise me if he actually touched that inner wall. But I ended up very shallow. I did not even get close to that wall. And I also notice we have the same types of uh, same wheels. That's that's actually kind of nice. Over, it had to go very deep just to catch all those clipping points. And then ended up missing one of those, but still got, still did the business. Licking the stamp and sending it, another jump drift from the both of us. My goodness, I, I'm I'm well hidden. It looks like the other car has my wing on it, but it's just me in the background. And I like how well hidden I was. And then contact right here. There's a the contact, sort of leaning in on them, just to slow down some. And that right there shows the proof that we have the same wheels just different sizes mine's my rims are a bit uh, bigger that was solid that was super solid and then from here we can actually go ahead and get the final upgrades that we need so oh i still have one more upgrade so eight grand eighty five hundred okay well, I'll probably do that separately, but let's go ahead and do a Gymkhana course to finish off the episode. And hopefully it won't take me too many tries because I am on 22% on my tires. Ooh, and that's attempt number one gone. Stay off that inside wall. Keep it balanced. Very nice. Bit wide there. This set me up for this next section. Yes. 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 Very nice. All right. Tighten up for it. Tighten up for it. Very nice. Try not to get too shallow. Oh, the transition to the next circle was very nice. And now I'm just balancing it. Ah, that was, that was very sloppy. That's okay. Wait a minute. That's, we, we're not doing that right. hit that one all right we just gonna have to leave it alone ah almost had it came in just a little bit too hot damn I could have did better than that but I guess I'll take it. Let's head back to Abisu. Tap wall. I tapped that wall hard. I wall tapped pretty hard. Oh, 
the brakes was a phenomenal thing right there. Yes. That was the business. That was the business. All right. Replay booth. Three, two, one. Send it. See, I, I left more to be desired on that jump. And I went super wide. You can see me tap right there. Full contact. But able to keep this slide going. Deep angle. Facing the camera. Oh, even deeper angle. Getting into it. This one, much better. And see, he, he didn't really initiate until late, late. Which surprised me as to how he didn't even tap the wall, though. But he had to really throw it in there just to get it going. And then I had to really hit the brakes here. In fact, I think I saw the rear tire lift up a little bit. But I kept it off of him, no contact made. All the way through. Very nice, very solid run. All right, let's go one more time on the Jim Connor course. I got 10% left on my tires. And I can burn through it very nicely. Let's see if we can improve on that 121 that we scored on the last one. Oh, we're off to a strong start. Dive into the circle. Here we go. Tap of the throttle, or tap of the brake. Not great. I almost had that. Ah, uh, just the slightest attached to the wall. But three stars, you know, I think I'll take it. I will take it. Now, in the meantime, let's go ahead and hop over to this E30 because we got one last thing to focus on. And like I said, it does involve the rear section of the car. So we got to choose if we want to do rear spoiler. No, we already had the antenna. That, that's what that was, okay. Fender, we already made our decisions on. So the, really the only few things that we got to worry about is what type of rear bumper. We have two different styles and each of those, uh, well, Two different main designs and each one of those designs has separate styles so we can do full bumpers or we can do bumper bars or we can just leave it bumper lists okay then we can choose to have either tow hooks or tow mounts or tow straps 
I think we'll worry about the toe hooks and straps later when we make a, a, a the decision on the color. Now exhaust, we have stock exhaust, upgraded exhaust, and of course the titanium exhaust. Now I understand I'm only two gold short. I can watch a video to get those gold. So we can, we can handle that. And then the main thing, so bumper, exhaust, and then of course the wing. We can do a no wing, we can do the low spoiler, we can do a medium wing, or a low wing. We can do a medium wing, or we can do a high wing, maybe even potentially a, a chassis mount. Of course, that's the style that I like, but it is y'all's decision to make. So those are those options. Again, I will make polls in the community tab so y'all can decide on uh, what sort of design y'all looking for. Um, those polls will be up for a week. We will do a week long poll just to see what sort of um, body parts that you would like to see on this car. Now, like I said, the wheels, I will make a decision on those when we decide what type of paint color to do. And that will actually be after the one week polls on the next episode. So from there, you know, we will make the decision. And then um, from there, we'll, we'll go from there. All right. That being said. It's your boy Warner Brother. Thank you so much for joining. Much love, much appreciation. Of course, like and subscribe for more content. For more uh, motorsports and gaming content, I will leave links to different channels in the description, as well as links to my Discord and Patreon so you can become members, help support the channel, and help me to produce better content. Thanks so much for joining. It's your boy Warner Brother. Much love, much appreciation. Stay blessed out there, and I am out of here. Peace.